let's tell each other about our future dreams when we grow up. You start, Vera. What do you want to be? I'll become an emergency doctor. Just imagine this. Ethan catches a cold, and I tell him, you should breathe in, and now you should breathe out. Huh? Um... Hello? Is this Dr. Breeze in, breeze out? Breathe in, breathe out. Where's the patient? Here you are. Now breathe in, breathe out. What's your problem? Open your mouth, ah. say ah. Say ah. ah. Very good. Breathe in, breathe out. Dear sir, your nose is running severely. We will give you the best medicine. Breeze in, breeze out, you're quite a doctor. And what is your dream, George? I will be a famous scientist who makes a really great discovery. Just imagine this, guys. As you can see with the simplest equation right here, we shall conduct this experiment. But there is just one question. <gasps> Please note how successfully this object splits into two. <clears throat> Thereby, dear colleagues, we may put this matter to rest. My lecture is over. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very cheerful lecture. And what about you, Ethan? And I, I want to be an illusionist and a hypnotizer. Imagine this. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> And now, Abracadabra! Oh! <laughs> hey, where am I? You are sleeping. I don't feel like sleeping, but I am hungry. Your eyelids are heavy. You are falling into a deep sleep. On the count of three, you'll be sleeping soundly. One, two, three. What kind of hypnotizer would fall asleep in his own performance? Oh, why can't we make ourselves useful even in our own dreams? Hey, kids, why are you so sad? We told each other our dreams of what we would become when we grow up. And then in the dreams, everything went wrong for us. It's because we're good for nothing, right? Don't feel bad, guys. When I was a kid, my music would scare away all of the trolleykins in town. Then I studied hard, and eventually I made it. I think I will start with going back home and doing my school homework for today. The summer is here. Any plans for the holidays? You know I am. Let's create our own TV program. Great idea, Vera. I want to be a broadcaster. Let me try. The weather tomorrow in the train city will be sunny and warm, with frost and ice spots here and there. <laughs> Am I any good? I will be a news reporter. Dear friends, this is a live report from... <laughs> I like to take photographs. I'll be a cameraman. We will shoot special coverages about the interesting events in the train city. And we will name our program the Train City News. Quiet, please. Good afternoon. 
You're watching the our the Train City News. Uh... <clears throat> our reporter is online right now. Friends, today we are going to introduce you to a noble and notable train. Hello, Grandpa Billy. Could you please tell the audience about your... What are you doing here, you naughty kids? Get out of here. I'll wash you away with this. Ouch! No, we are from TV! Please forgive me, little guys. It was my bad. I'm happy when guests are coming. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for your visit, kiddies. Thank you, too, Grandpa Billy. Wendy? Uh, uh, oh, man, well... Just you wait. I shall catch you now. Just wait a second. <laughs> we heard that some mysterious theft has taken place here. Indeed. Our dear musician has lost his priceless creative inspiration. It was here in the morning, and then I left for the grocery store, and when I came back, it was gone. Don't you worry. We brought a special sniffer trolley to the crime scene. Trolley Ken, search. <gasps> what a disgrace. I've never seen this inspiration of yours. <laughs> Why are you giving me this suspicious look? Unfortunately, our time is up. Wendy, we're back to you. We have a special guest. Uh, could you introduce yourself? What for? Uh, we know each other. This is the right way. Hello, Wendy, then. My name is Arnold. Arnold, did you hear that? Is it time now? Can I read out my own poem? Here goes, the iron rails are shining bright, and Arnold's belly feels quite all right. What a great poem that was, Arnold. And now we have breaking news. The inspiration has been found. It fell behind the music books. Thank you, everyone, especially the trolleykin. <laughs> oh, how touching. And now, the Train City Weather Broadcast. The weather, the weather in the train, train city, city is totally awesome! Hey, Vera! Did you plant a tree in the end? It's not just any tree. It's a magic tree. I don't get what's so magical about it. I'm not telling. When it grows up, you'll see yourself. So what? Besides, magic trees don't exist anyway. Okay, I'm going to hide in the bushes and see for myself. Ouch! Wait, <gasps> where did you come from? Are you watching the tree growing too? I've been watching it since yesterday. Oh! oh. Stop peeping. Go out to the forest, find a magic tree seed, and grow your own tree. This really isn't polite. Huh? Hmm, huh? Listen, George, we should plant a dozen of trees to make Vera jealous. Ethan, I'm tired, and I'm so hungry. Can we look for this tree tomorrow, please? It must be near, I'm sure. Somewhere close. I can feel it. Uh... Come here! Quick! It's dry here! Uh, it really is. The leaves don't let water in. <laughs> Cold, I'm freezing. Yeah, me too. Aha! I'm warmer. I'm warmer too. Oh, it's so hot. Feels cooler here. Yeah, real refreshing. We'll cool off for a bit. Aha! Before going on, Ethan. Come on, cross the bridge. The bridge is really old. It might break down, Ethan. Don't panic. It'll hold you. Oh, I'd better.
better be going back. <gasps> Wait, hold on, George. I'm coming to save you. Oh, oh dear. Oh no, I can't swim. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Grab hold of the tree. Come on. But Ethan, it's all thorny. Grab fast. Come on. The bridge is going down any second. <laughs> <sighs> thank you so much, Ethan. You're a real good friend. Oh, no, don't thank me. You should really thank the tree. It saved your life, George. Well then, did you find the magic tree in the end? Nope. We sure didn't find a tree like yours. Maybe you didn't look hard enough. There are plenty of trees out there. Huh? huh? Shame on you. You don't pay attention. Vera, please tell us what is so magical about your tree. When the tree finally grows up, it'll give me protection from the rain. And when the sun is shining, this magical tree will always shelter me in the oh-so-cooling shade. And besides from that, it's beautiful. Don't you agree with me? Hey, George. Back there in the forest, the tree saved us from the heat and the rain. Yeah, true. And then from the cold. And a tree helped me out of danger. Now I can see that all the trees are just magical. Yes, you're right. And there are plenty of them here in the forest. Cold water! Clean water! Trains, don't forget to fill your tanks with cold water during the hot weather! Oh, all the trees might die during the heat. We need to save the park. Unbelievable! This is a record heat. Half a degree more, and there will be a record of the century. You know, George, I would have changed this record heat to rain. George, Ethan, there's a disaster. There's a heat wave in town. Have you just noticed? Guys, we have to do something about it, or else all the trees will die. George, we need to do something. I think that we need to dig a well so that the trees will have some water. Okay then, when should we start, guys? Ethan, bring me my well digger. <laughs> this here, guys, is the achievement of my mind. The well digger can dig even to the other side of the earth, really. Yeah, right, and then it arrives on the moon and continues digging there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, I will miss the record because of you. Cold water! Clean water over here! George, is there any water here? There is. Maybe you should bring some water to this hole from our home? <gasps> oh, it seems there is no water here after all. Oh. Well, now there won't be any problems with water in the park. But there will be problems in town. Hmm. Uh, what am I going to do? My water's run out. I'm 
sorry, this is my fault. I told George to do something. I didn't want the park to die. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, kids. It was our fault that we didn't look mm-hmm. after the apartment. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, it's not right to leave the town without any plumbing, but it was wrong of us to leave the park without mm-hmm. any water. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you agree? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hooray! We have a record! A record! A record! A temperature record! A temperature record! Hey, George, you shouldn't stay in the water, you know. You might blossom. (laughs) (laughs) I'm inviting you to see a show of my new invention. The demonstration will take place tomorrow at 9.30 train city time on the old road. Sincerely yours, your friend G. Interesting, who is this mysterious G? Thank you, my friends, for accepting my humble invitation. Today is a memorable day that, uh, I guess straight away that G means George. You are a very good guesser, Arnold. Uh, I'm sorry, what was I talking about? <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I invented an engine that works on rainwater and whistle energy. At the beginning, I thought that G stands for general. What an amazing conclusion, Arnold. General. Ugh. Okay, listen up. In order to operate the engine properly, you need to add rainwater and whistle. One good whistle is enough for a 10-minute operation. (laughs) Then whistle again. Awesome. George, you're a genius. Oh, well, this occurred to me somehow during the daytime. Is it dangerous? You may rest assured it's absolutely safe. Mm, But you'd better hide on second thoughts, because rainwater together with a whistle is unpredictable. Shall we begin then? I installed the Whistle 1 engine on this trolley can right over here. Let's start the countdown on one, two... I'm hiding! You can start now. Three! Yay, yay! It works! And this was a quiet whistle. Now please take your seats and get ready. What now, George? I need to test the engine's power to carry packages, that's what. Why so slowly? Can we move faster? The trolley can is fresh and new. <clears throat> I mean, the engine is fresh and new. <sighs> yeah, so what? Ooh. Don't even try. It obeys only to my whistles. Ha! Ha ha ha! Interesting. <laughs> yeah! It's awesome! <gasps> oh no, it's too fast! I didn't count on this! Uh, stop it, please! They want to get off! I'm scared! I cannot stop it! You see, I only invented going forward! I haven't invented stopping it yet, I'm sorry to say! <laughs> are over. We have reached the the point of destination. That was scary. Uh, Boy. Why are we climbing so high? Can't we take a ride on the trolley, Ken? Thank you, but no thank you. I've had enough for one day. <laughs> One, two, three, four. 
five. Now I'm going to find you wherever you are. Huh? Well, well, well. Hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> well, well, well. Here you are. It's so funny. Huh? Now, now. Knock, knock. Did you find Ethan? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> he will never find me. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It's beautiful. Ethan, come out. Look, there's an airstrip here. What airship? What else will you come up with to make me come out? Ethan, come out. I bet you've never seen anything like that. Shoo shoo. Maybe he's here. What are you doing? Everyone knows that the bush is infectious. <gasps> infectious? With what? You've been there? That's bad. Why? Tell me. The bush is infected with very, very bad luck. Why? What is that? From now on, whatever you do, you will experience very, very bad luck. Come on, that's nonsense. No, it's not. I heard one train has been infected with bad luck. She was so sick of that, so she decided to move into the mountains. She thought no disasters would find her there. But she was wrong. She thought she escaped from a meteorite, but no. People say she still shines from it. Hi. Come on. That's not true. There is no bad luck. But you missed the airship. That's bad luck. I don't believe in that. Hey, guys! I think this is bad luck. This is the longest train in the world. Uh, it will be very long. I lost the whole day because of this train. What are you doing there? Ah! What an unlucky day. Hope. Hope. Wait. Grab it. I Pass. <sighs> you were right. Bad luck exists. That's it. I'm gonna finish it up. To fight with bad luck. Ethan, where are you going? Hmm? Uh, uh. What are you planning to do? I will fight with it. Once I finish with this bush, I will finish with bad luck. Come on, Ethan. That was a mm. joke. There is no bad luck. Really? Why was I unlucky the whole day then yesterday? And today. That was just a really tough break. You know? Then it will become better. When will this finally be better? Close your eyes. Turn around mm -hmm. three times. Mm -hmm. Open your eyes. You will see the airstrip. And your mm -hmm. life will be better. One, two, three. Hooray! Life is better now. Bad luck is gone. I've seen the airship two <laughs> times already. I'm very lucky. Uh-huh. I need to check my luck. <laughs> uh huh. Let's see. Hi. Guys, I think it's bad luck for you now. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, I'm terribly late for my dance class. Don't disorient me. How are you doing? Hello there, Vera. It really is bad to be late. Therefore, we won't hold you back any longer. And we're doing fine. We bought a new game called <laughs> The Adventures of the Transformers. Oh, it must be shooting and stuff. And I like the game with enchanted castles, a prince and a princess, and their wedding in the end, and... Vera, how late are you already? When I met you, I was late for two minutes. Uh, oh no, uh, what have you done, you guys? Now I'm late for five whole minutes! Oh dear, what have we done, Ethan? We must help her! Yeah, but how? I've got an idea. Huh? 
So if I understand you correctly, you want to stop all the clocks in Train City for five minutes? Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Clockface, please. Please, it's only for five minutes. Farrah will be late that way. The Train City is so big, and five minutes aren't a very long time, you know. No one would ever notice. Oh, please, could you help us? So what you're saying is that you think nobody would notice those five minutes, right? All right, then, let's just picture this for a moment, shall we? <laughs> la, 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 I have guests today. Oh, it's time to take the cake out. It's been five minutes sharp. Let's hear the weather forecast for today, huh? And windy. It has been our weather broadcast for tomorrow. You are windy. listening to... <laughs> Darling, I'm going to take a quick shower before work. Remember, in five minutes, they're closing the water to repair the pipes. I've got plenty of time. A whole five minutes. La 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 Hey, 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 what's going on? Where's all the water at? Hmm, yeah. Mr. Clockface was right. Poor Mrs. Dove with her cake. And my dad, he was late for work. And poor Grandpa Billy with the weather broadcast. But George, what about Vera? We didn't help her, did we? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hi there, guys. Vera? Were you very late? I wasn't late at all. I got confused. Actually, my dancing class is tomorrow. Uh, tell me, Ethan. Who would be the most disoriented person in the whole of Train City? Huh? I think... That would be Vera. Of course it's Vera. <laughs> oh. I can't understand it. Such a good teacher like yourself having such a badly behaved son? We didn't know. Well, you should have known that. The railroad is no playground. It's very dangerous. Especially if you're clinging to moving wagons. It's dangerous for everybody, not just kids. And this time they got away with a scratch. But next time they could get seriously injured. I, I think it's time to go. Goodbye. What's wrong with you? How could you do that? Now go home. Your father will have a talk with you later. What's going on? Did they go and play on the railroad again? I told him a million times. And I assure you that we studied all the safety rules in class over and over again. Safety rules, you say? Mm-hmm. I see. Well, it's time to study the unsafety rules then. Just trust me. Children, I need your help now. We are all going to teach someone the unsafety rules. Hey. Oh, those adults. They always worry and it's for nothing. <laughs> No, wake up! Don't fall asleep! Our adventures are waiting! Hey, 
George, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Wanna go with me where I've been yesterday? Yeah, but first tell me where you were yesterday. Playing on the railroad. It's so cool. I broke something when I played there, but the doctor says in two years I'll be fine. Can you three help me and push me to the railroad? Because I can't go by myself anymore. Hmm. No. It's too early for you. It's just too bad he played on the railroad, eh? Huh? Oh, hey guys, do you like our new look? You know, now I have to go out in two separate parts. Can you imagine that? Huh? But what happened to you guys? Oh, nothing much. We were clinging on to Grandpa Billy when all of a sudden he reversed. I'm telling you, it was great fun. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but they say that someday the pain may pass. Is it fun or what? Yeah, I can't stop laughing. Hey, maybe can we go to the library instead oh, of that? No. Uh, we had some plans, remember? Vera, you were a very good girl. Playing on the railroad is what it's all about. Yes, Mother. And now the joy is tearing me apart. <laughs> Uh, w where was it that we wanted to play on? Mm, well, now I changed my mind. So, how do I get to the library? Turn left at the corner. Good work, everyone. <clears throat> I think that they finally got the point. It was much easier than making our dad stop snoring at uh, To begin with... Here is the road traffic safety guide, and we'll start with the signs first. Hey, uh, can I be the first to read it? 